Hello, friends. I'm Pastor Pitts Evans. Welcome to the Whole Word Podcast. Let's get right to the Word of God. We're going to take a few minutes now and look at Psalm 5. This is a Davidic psalm. He is um, the traditional author, and his name is contained within an ancient inscription within the text itself as the author. It's used for traditional morning prayers for um, religious Jewish people. And I think that's interesting. The content has to do with um, Absalom's rebellion and uh, David's flight from Jerusalem and his prayers to the Lord for sustaining him during this terrible time when his son uh, rebelled against him and turned a large portion of Israel against him. But its content um, uh, lends itself to a prayer. And as I said, it's used um, for morning prayers widely among religious Jews, and it's a great um, uh, morning prayer for Christians as well. Now, I'm going to read it first in the NIV, and then we'll talk about it in the NIV. And then I want to read it from the King James, because the the language is just um, beautiful and flowing in the King James and poetic. So let's read now from the New International Version, Psalm 5. For the director of music, for pipes, a psalm of David. Listen to my words, Lord. Consider my lament. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God, for to you I pray. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait expectantly. For you're not a God who is pleased with wickedness. With you, evil people are not welcome. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, Lord, you detest. But I, by your great love, can come into your house. In reverence I bow down toward your holy temple. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with malice. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongues they tell lies. Declare them guilty, O God. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. Now, this opens with an inscription and an introduction for the director of music. And um, in Hebrew, it says, Neoloth, which means pipes. So this was for um, pipe wind instruments for the musical accompaniment. And it's a Psalm of David. And then in verse 1, David begins a heartfelt request for God to hear his prayer. Listen to my words, Lord. Consider my lament. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God. For to you I pray. And so as many of the Psalms are, this is a sung prayer. Verse 3 inserts the, the morning as the context. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my requests before you and wait expectantly. And so, friends, we should all express our desires and our concerns and our fears and our love to the Lord every morning. At the very least, we should say good morning to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit every morning of our lives. David then points out that Yahweh has no use for evil, arrogant people. For you are not a God who is pleased with wickedness. With you, evil people are not welcome. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful you detest, Lord. And then asking for guidance, he he humbles himself very beautifully, David does. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make your way straight before me. And he says that he comes in reverence and bows down uh, before the Lord's holy temple. David returns to a condemnation of the wicked. He says, declare them guilty, O God. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins, for they have rebelled against you. 
And it includes a petition for protection and blessings from the Lord uh, as kind of a closing. But let all those who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them so that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. And now I want to read this in the King James Version. Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a God that has pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and the deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into his house in the multitude of thy mercy. And in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is an open sepulcher. They flatter with their tongue. Destroy them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of the transgressions that they have rebelled against thee. But let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield." And so, Lord, we do put our trust in you. We rejoice, Lord, and we thank you. We're full of joy because you defend us. And, Lord, may we find joy in your name and in your company forever. Lord, bless us with righteousness. May the righteousness of Jesus Christ be applied to each of our lives. Lord, we have no righteousness of our own, but in him we are fully righteous in your sight. Surround us as with a shield, Lord. Listen to our voices when we cry out. Lord, we call to you today and every day. Remind us to pray to you in the mornings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Whole Word. It was brought to you by Whole Word Fellowship and the Northern Virginia House of Prayer. If you were encouraged, please share our podcast with your friends. We'd also appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe in your favorite podcast app and take a few moments to write a review. If you'd like more information on our church and our ministry, you can go to wholeword.net or wholewordpodcast.com for more information. Thank you again, and may the Lord Jesus bless you today and always.